Here is the high-level working flow on our serverless web app example. Our web app is a simple product utility application to search product and insert a new product. The users go to the static website hosted on S3. S3 points to API Gateway with the two web method requests, get a request and a post request. Get a request calls Lambda function to retrieve item from a DynamoDB. Post request calls another Lambda function to put item into DynamoDB. The serverless web application is simple but good enough to do the demonstration. You can extend this web application by adding more crude functionalities such as the delete and update products. You can also add AWS Cognito to manage your user pool or use the Web Identity Federation for authentication and authorization. Now I will show you the procedure to develop this project that is in the opposite order than the working flow. The product catalog table is built in DynamoDB in the previous section. Let's build two Lambda functions, search item and post item. Before we can build a Lambda function, we need to set up a permission for Lambda. So Lambda can access the DynamoDB. Go to IM console. Then under policies, create a policy with the permission to do DynamoDB query, scan, update items, put items, and logs. The policy is defined in JSON format. Click Review Policy button. Enter the policy's name. Enter the policy's description. Now you can see the summary with the policy on DynamoDB and the CloudWatch logs. Click Create Policy. Now go to the rules, create a new rule for Lambda. And the new policy just created into this rule. Click Next Review button, enter the raw name and the raw description. Click the button Create Raw. The new raw number to DynamoDB is created. Let's go to the Lambda service and click a create a function. We need to create two functions. One is a search item, the other one is post item. Let's do the first one, search item. Enter the name and we'll use the Python. Select the existing rule for this function and choose the rule we just create lambda to DynamoDB. And you, you will see the IDE for you to enter the code here. Copy the code from the attached source file search item py. 
Python is out of the scope of this course. In this code, if a product ID is a star, then do scan to return all items. Otherwise, do query with input product ID. Enter the environment variable db table name with the product catalog name. Put a table name into variable give you a chance to reuse this function. Let's set up a test for this lambda function. Click a configure test event next to the test button. Select a create a new test event. Use the default event template. Enter the event name search item. The event name is a product ID. Enter the product ID. Then enter the value for the product ID. Let's use a star. So that way we can scan the table. Now save everything. Click the save button. Now click the test button. Let's take a look on the test result. Click the detail. You can see it is written all the items from product catalog table. The execution and search item function is succeeded. We finished our first lambda function. Let's move on to the second one. The following video will be in the faster speed. If you want to know the detail, please enroll in my online training class, Hands-on with DynamoDB.